Hey, what is up guys? This is iTechSpot here and welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to jailbreak iOS 9.3.3 all the way down to iOS 9.2. So let's get started. Now before we get started, this jailbreak will work on 64-bit devices. So that's the iPhone 5S and above, iPad mini 2 and above, iPad Air and above, and the iPod Touch 6th generation. So the first thing you guys want to do is head on to settings right here. And you guys want to turn off Touch ID and Passcode, so you guys want to have these off. And you guys want to turn off iCloud, so you guys want to sign out your account right here. And you guys will be good to go for the jailbreak. So once you guys have turned off Touch ID and iCloud, what you guys want to do is head on to this website, which I'll link down below in the description box. Once you guys are here, you guys want to tap on this button right here. Once you guys are on this right here, what you guys want to do is tap on this red bar right here. So you want to tap on it right there. And I'll redirect you to this other page right here. And what you guys want to do, so I'm just going to translate this page right here. So this is now in English. So what you guys want to do is scroll down and you guys will see this click here to download the PP Assistant. So you guys want to tap on it right here. And this will begin downloading the jailbreak tool on your computer. So just going to wait for it to pop out right here. So here it is downloading and I'll be right back once this is done downloading. Alrighty guys, so the tool has finished downloading. So we're just gonna tap on it right here. Once you guys tap on it, it'll say Windows protected with your PC. So we're just gonna tap on more info and tap on run anyways. Once you guys do that, you guys will see this prompt which will pop up. You guys just wanna tap on ES. Now I'm just gonna minimize my Google right here. So now you guys will see this page right here. You guys want to tap on this green button right here. You just want to wait for this to turn into 100%. So I'll be right back once this is at 100%. Alrighty guys, so now this is at 100%. You just want to tap on the green button once again. So once you guys tap on the green button, you guys will see this prompt which will pop up. And it says Windows Firewall has blocked some features of this app. You guys want to allow access. So this is very important. You guys want to allow access. So you guys want to tap on allow access one more time. And now you guys will see this screen right here. You guys want to tap on the green button once again. And you're just going to wait for this to load right here. Alrighty guys, so it has loaded up right here. Now it's asking me to sign in my Apple ID. So I'm just going to sign in really quick. This is safe. So you guys want to sign in your Apple ID in order to sign the application. So I'll be right back once I've signed the application. Alrighty guys, so I have signed in my Apple ID, so it's going to wait for it to load right here. Okay guys, so the application has finished loading. You guys want to tap on this green button right here once again. And you guys will see this right here. Now on your device, settings will pop up and you guys will see this right here. So you'll see your email or your Apple ID. You guys want to trust the application. So you're going to tap on trust, tap on trust one more time. And now you guys can open up the application on your home screen. So you guys could see the jailbreak tool right here. Now if you guys do not have the jailbreak tool on your device, you guys could go back onto your computer and you guys could tap on the jailbreak tool right here. So it's the application with the P and the Pangu sign on the back. So you guys could click on this and it will install on your device and you guys could trust the app. So once you guys have this application on your device, you guys want to launch it right here and you guys want to make sure your device is plugged into your computer. Now you guys will see this prompt which will pop up. You guys want to tap on OK right here. And you guys will see this circle right here. And you guys want to tap on it right here. And once you guys tap on it, you guys want to shut off your device. So you guys want to put your device on to sleep and it will begin jailbreaking. So once this is done, you will see your device reboot and you guys are good to go. Alrighty guys, so my device has rebooted. So it's going to slide to unlock right here. If we scroll all the way to the end, you guys will see Cydia right here and you guys can see the Pangu applications. So now what you guys want to do is launch up Cydia right here and you guys are basically done. So I have Cydia running on iOS 9.3.3 so you guys can see right here. So I'm just going to focus the camera right on it. So we're just going to go all the way to here. So we're going to go into changes and we're just going to upgrade everything right here. Now before you guys do that, you guys want to install this tweak right here. So the tweak is called Apple File Conduit, so you want to tap in it. So this, this one right here, Apple File Conduit, you guys want to install this on your device. So you want to tap on Install right here, and I'm going to continue queuing, and I'm just going to update all my repos right here. So you can tap on Confirm, 
Now, as you guys can see here, my device is installing everything. So this means that we are jailbroken. All right, so we're just gonna respring my device right here and we'll wait for it to respring and I'll be right back. All right, so my device has resprung right here. Now we're just gonna open up Cydia and we're gonna try and install a tweak. So we're just gonna type in one right here. Alrighty guys, so the first tweak we're gonna do is cylinder. So we're just gonna tap on install up here and we're gonna continue queuing. And we're gonna go back and we're gonna install Zeppelin. So here it is, we're gonna tap on install and we're gonna click on confirm. So we're just gonna let these applications download and we're gonna wait for them to load up and we're gonna respring. Alrighty guys, so my device has resprung it right here. So we're gonna slide to unlock and you guys could see Zeppelin is already working. Now we can see that cylinder is working also. Now this is a semi-tethered jailbreak. So now if we, so we're just gonna unplug my device right here. So if we reboot my device, so we're just gonna reboot it right here. We're gonna slide to power off and you're gonna wait for it to power back on. Alrighty guys, so my device has rebooted. So if we slide to unlock here, my tweaks are not working. So as you guys could see here, there's no Zeppelin or cylinder working. So if we open up Cydia, Cydia will just crash. So what you guys wanna do is just launch up the jailbreak tool right here. And you guys just wanna re-jailbreak your, your iDevice. So you're just gonna tap on okay right here and tap on the button right there. So once you guys do that, you just want to turn off your device and just continue the jailbreak process. Now by doing this, you will not lose any of your tweaks at all. It'll just reboot and you guys will have your tweaks back on your device without losing anything. So my device has rebooted, so we're going to slide to unlock once again. And as you guys can see here, my tweaks are back working on my device. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Feel free to comment down below if you run into any problems. Also, don't forget to like and share this video since it helps out the channel so much. And feel free to subscribe since I'll be posting videos every single week. Anyways guys, this is iTechSpot and I'll catch you on the next video. Peace!